This I'm pretty surprised by, to be honest. I'm not really sure what I expected when it comes to Travis Scott um, criminal charges for the whole Astro World thing and the fact that I think nearly 10 kids died or something. I'm not sure what I expected, but I don't think I expected a complete dismissal and no charges whatsoever is going to be facing. So the headline here, courtesy AP News says, rapper Travis Scott will not face criminal charges in deadly crowd surge at Texas Festival, which again is fairly obvious because if you've been paying attention you would have seen travis being way more visible you know with the utopia promotion just being about being mixy doing loads of taking loads of pictures traveling around the world so clearly his team had an idea that this would be the case and he was decided to kind of prep and start promoting his album or he was hoping for the best anyway and decided to promote his album whilst there wasn't any negative heat on him who knows but i got a feeling his counsel his team knew this is going to be the case so it says here a Texas ground jury declined to indict rapper Travis Scott in a criminal investigation of a deadly crowd surge in 2021. This obviously, I feel like, is also a benefit of like doing all those turkey runs, having the key to the city, doing loads of charity work for your fucking, you know, for your state. This is what happens in the end. You get rewarded sometimes. All those things that you don't think you should be doing are you know, a waste of time. When you get in trouble, this is where it kind of helps because you have some people probably fighting your fight you don't even know who are kind of backing you up and making sure that you get the decision that you need. So it says here, um, the criminal investigation of a deadly crowd surge in 2021 Astro World Festival was like just yesterday where some spectators was packed so tightly they could not move their arms or even breathe. This His attorney and prosecutor said on Thursday, lawyer Kent Schaefer confirmed that the Harris County Grand Jury had met and decided not to indict um, this client of any criminal charges stemming from the concert he never encouraged people to do anything that resulted in other people getting hurt um yeah that's a bit of a lie and a bit of semantics but we let it run it's a great relief he said the the attorney circumstances of the deaths limited what charges prosecutors were able to present to the jury eliminating potential counts such as murder manslaughter and criminal negligence homicide said alicia carvey an assistant district attorney of the harris county the left prosecutors, the left prosecutors, sorry, to focus on possible cults, um, counts of endangering child, can endangering a child in connection with the death of two youngest concert girls aged nine and fourteen. The grand jury found that no crime did occur. That was no single individual who criminally was responsible. Yeah, but that's something I'm not really too sure about because no one's saying it was all Travis's fault, but he definitely didn't help things. He was inciting them to rage and to riot and go crazy. So they did exactly what he said they did. And at no point did he try to settle them down. That's a real funny style part for me. Roughly 300 people were injured um, under scene and 25 were taken to hospital. Houston police and federal officials have been investigating whether Scott, concert promoter, Live Nation and others um, were sufficiently put safety measures in place. During a news conference on Thursday afternoon after the jury decision, police presented various details of the investigation, including a time and events during the Scott's performance, the location of the concert was said to be on, but police chief Troy Fina, sorry, um, declined to say that the overall conclusion of the agency um, investigation was whether the police had been hot stopped um, the concert fewer. Finally, sorry, but police chief uh, Troy Finner declined to say what the overall conclusion of the agency's investigation was or whether the police should have stopped the concert sooner. Finner said that the police planned to make a more than 1,000 page report on the case um, public so people can read through the information from the investigators reviewed. Okay, that's pretty fair. Um, the chief of police is not going to get up here and point fingers at anybody. I respect the grand jury's decision. I simply want people to read the offense report and read the entire investigation and everybody will see. Very, very, very complicated. No, it's, I don't doubt it's complicated. I'm just surprised he's not going to face any charges. Zero. That there has to be some culpability to like sending your fans into a crazy frenzy of that. I'm so much sure they want to riot and go crazy. You have to kind of be responsible for that. I feel like just a little bit. But, you know, maybe they don't feel that way. But Travis is not responsible, they said. Criminal charges against him will not um, ease their pain. The grand jury declined to indict five other people, including festival manager Brent Silberstein. A attorney for Silberstein did not immediately reply. More than 500 lawsuits have been filed over the death. Some have since been resettled. 
Kevin Hayes, a Houston attorney whose firm is representing hundreds of people and injured the concert said he's disappointed by the grand jury, but civil cases will continue. So this isn't the end of it, obviously. It's going to get probably worse before it gets better for Travis, but in the short term, if you want to promote O- o- P- o- Utopia, sorry. He wants to go on tour. I think there's a tour planned. I saw somewhere like in November or something. So it makes is it in November. I don't know. I'm not too sure when it was, but I saw something about a tour. So clearly, there's a whole rollout planned about this album, and it makes sense why he's gonna be, you know, happy and hyped about this because essentially he can somewhat get his life back together and hope to kind of put his stuff behind him. But I'm generally surprised he didn't get even one charge, not even one. Nothing stuck to him at all in the slightest. So. I guess you have to respect that guy's gangster, innit? I guess you have to respect his guy's gangster because Jesus Christos, I would have folded so quickly. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that for free. I'll tell you that for absolutely free.